This is a brief addendum to my last video, the Black Knight Syndrome. Something I forgot to articulate uh, specifically about truthers, what it is in my mind that uh, debilitates us by all these people, these truther types, and they have fabulous analysis, some of them, analyze our circumstances fabulously, but relative to the takedown, we are, we are under threat. And relative to the takedown, there are many levels to this. There are many levels to this, and we can, we can search for the truth in many uh, dark little areas. But relative to the takedown, what I wanted to say is that if a, if a truth or somebody that is invoking the idea of an absolute in a sense, this is what's happening with the idea of truth. Truth becomes an absolute, something that institutions, uh, religious institutions have captured very well the idea that they are the propagators of truth in an absolute sense, which is why the invocation of God becomes something of a magnificent strategy to undermine the population. So if you put a put forward something that you are the propagator of a truth, that is, you are you know, have a direct liaison with the omnipotent being in a sense, which is, uh, I suppose, this is something that truthers could invoke, which in their own minds they invoke. And some of, some of the time, some of the time, I actually find them quite prescient to our circumstances, except, except there is no value in a truth if, let's say, that you are actually going to a fight with a knife and somebody comes with a gun. Or if you go with a gun and somebody has a bazooka. Or if you go with a bazooka and somebody has a tank, a, a, ad infinitum. So the point is, what is taking us down is that, that the greatest event, the greatest catastrophe that ever happened, called Fukushima, and if a truther is not aware of this, at least among all the other truths that they feel so capable of identifying, they're irrelevant in that sense. And that's something I forgot to talk about in the Black Knight. And the truther, generally speaking, uh, I would say most of the truther channels that I've come across who have not been able to identify the times we live in in order to arrive at the truth, I call, we, I call it the age of fission. And uh, not to be able to identify the age of fission actually makes a person irrelevant in the sense of that knife fight, gun fight, bazooka fight, tank fight. That's something I just didn't really articulate well enough because my obvious disdain for truthers, people that propagate themselves through some enlightenment that they feel they have. They're so awake, I'm awake, I'm awake. Idea, which is connected to the omnipotent being handing down the tablets. This is not how it works. The truth emerges out of our sincerity, honesty, integrity, our conscience, our conscience. This is, this is where we can arrive at some level of, what is that? Some level of sustained life, a worldview that works. So that's something I didn't say and I thought I'd follow up on that.